Hello, this is Dr. Don Ibbotson of Above and Beyond Christian Counseling. In this session, I'm going to talk about curses on the land and look at how spirits of depression have affected the United States. What does God say about sin and how it affects the land? God is speaking to Adam in Genesis 3.17 and declaring that the original sin of eating the fruit from the tree of knowledge had cursed the ground. From that day on, the scripture says, the ground would produce thorns and thistles. After Cain had killed Abel in Genesis 4.10, God spoke to Cain and told him that the voice of his brother's blood cried out from the ground. To sum things up, sin affects the land and the land that we live in affects us. As a new nation, America, it's easy to review the national traumas that have swept across the country. One of the greatest tragedies was the Great Depression in the 1930s. We've all heard the stories of devastating losses as the stock market crashed, banks closed, and unemployment skyrocketed. Word curses of depression, poverty, and loss were on everyone's lips. Depression had invaded our land. We are the descendants, or many of this generation are the descendants of the Great Depression, who are still struggling with this spiritual torment. Our losses are different, but the spirits of greed, fear of failure, and depression operating in our lives are the same. Greed was at the root of the financial collapse in the 1920s. That greed is now linked to the skyrocketing profits from depression medications. Depression came in and made America the land not of the free. Now, how do we drive out depression? In Numbers 33, 55, God tells us, If you do not drive out the inhabitants of the land before you, then it shall be that those whom you let remain shall be irritants in your eyes and thorns in your sides, and they shall harass you in the land where you dwell. Now that scripture is a perfect um, description, if you like, of deliverance ministry. It's time to drive out those harassing spirits of depression. As a believer, God gives you authority to drive out demons, but what you allow will continue. What's the first step to freedom? Begin by speaking aloud. In the name of Jesus Christ, I confess the sins of my forefathers and break the power of every inherited curse of depression on my bloodline. I also break the power of every word curse I have spoken over myself about, quote, my depression. And I cancel every diagnosis of depression. I repent for coming into agreement with these words and I declare they no longer have a hold over me in Jesus' name. This declaration waves the flag of freedom and liberty that the blood of Jesus paid for in the face of demons of depression. Get help. Find a counselor trained in deliverance. That could be the next step in ending this battle for you. Now this may be fresh revelation that you prayed for today and you declared. Numbers 33, excuse me, Numbers 33 verse 55 reminds us that what you allow will continue. What you do now with this information is up to you.